just the back and forth momentum swap oh. that there's a big rock. Here comes Romero, oh. but a pull counter. There the we go. We have there it a is. champion, ladies and gentlemen. This is Romero 17 here, and I was doing a showcase for Brian Ortega, and I had the wonderful fortune to run into the number one exploiter on rank championships with the Darth Choke, this individual right here, Prometi W. Solo. So I ran into this individual. Uh, it was a you know a certain uh, fight, but as you can see, he's no longer <laughs> number one. So the case thing is, up until a few, I think it was about a week ago, Nas UFC uploads a video saying, EA has to fix this. The problem is, when he did that, EA was already aware of the issue, and things are already in progress of getting fixed. Not a lot of people knew about this said problem until he decided to make a video about it. So this individual right here pretty much abuses that said issue. I'm going to obviously show you guys what I'm talking about. It's the Darce exploit that Nas had posted about in his video. And this individual, what this guy likes to do is loves to fish for the Darce. Because there's a, with this exploit, it makes it virtually nigh impossible to deny. I've denied it like once or twice. A couple times not in this fight but before where i was like still won but if you don't do that and you don't race it on time then you are getting locked in and it is a very very foul foul exploit and it's very difficult for a lot of players to deal with now thankfully i had brian ortega and brian ortega has some pretty good submission defense so it definitely came in clutch hopefully you guys will enjoy this fight and for those of you who were terrorized by this individual hopefully i've done you guys some good justice check it out i was good everybody rare 17 here we're going to be showcasing Brian Ortega, who is set to try and take revenge against Yair Rodriguez this weekend. Thank you for touching gloves. Him and uh, that last bout ended kind of weird. Yair Rodriguez. This motherfucker. Oh, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Let me let me settle. Let me settle. Let me settle. I know exactly what to expect. I got to adjust my game plan. Originally, the plan was to fight like Brian Ortega, but we'll fight a little bit like him. But uh, the last time Brian Ortega was in the octagon was uh, two years ago. And with Brian Ortega, he has a thing where, like, you don't know where he's going to be after two years. He lost to Max Holloway by Dr. Stoppage. Comes back two years later. Beats uh, the Korean zombie. I think 49-46 uh, or some shit like that. Maybe 50-45. It was a competitive bout. Spinning elbow put spinning uh, Chang Sung Jung on autopilot. Off of that, he ended up getting a title shot against Volkanovski. Lost that. Then we get into, uh, I think it was like a number one contender fight with Gary Rodriguez. And tries to pull his shoulder out or whatever from an arm bar. Arm, the shoulder comes out with very little resistance, I guess to speak. So it's deemed a TKO win for, for uh, Gary Rodriguez via shoulder injury. Oh my gosh, I can't fucking pull. That move is not the greatest. Oh my, oh my, yay, 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 two of those things should not have tracked, anywho, I, <laughs> I don't know why uh, the UFC loves Brian Ortega so much, because he has it two years off, both times, and then he comes back, and he's right into a number one, uh, basically like a number one or two contender fight, he's ranked number four in the rankings, he was out for two years, and if I rag on Conor McGregor as much as I do, like I said, oh my lord, Semester mess is saving you. I, I gotta be consistent here, but they, they love to push him. They still show they're still showcasing them him freaking KO and Frankie Edgar from 2018 as his main uh big highlight. Who's the first one to KO? Oh, oh we got the back take! Oh, oh my god, the animation. EA y'all trying to make me lose this bout, huh? Y'all trying to make me lose this bout. Hey, he was on a pretty pretty good run, you know. Submitted him out of McConnell in a competitive bout. Get ourselves a nice rock. Bales, that's cool by me. Ooh, oh, oh, shit, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay, he caught me off guard. You caught me off guard, fair and square. He's familiar. Usually, I'm ready to block the guillotine. He usually goes for the guillotine. He's evolving. He's found on me, though. No rubber guard for us, I guess. Now that transition. We're going to roll. I ain't scared of rolling. Nobody. Yeah, I'm biting on those fakes. Ah, uh, he tried to go for the heel hook. All right. Win that race. All right. <laughs> Started off a little bit rocky, but we ended up getting a nice rock there. Call it the run. But, yeah. Uh, 
had some good wins, but it's just you never know what's going to happen with Brian Ortega. You know, in his last two losses, uh, not, uh, not counting Ari Rodriguez about, <coughs> excuse me, Volkanovski losing pretty dominantly, almost pulls it out of his back. Third round, Brian Ortega is a fucking menace. And he almost, no, no, no. I came in there with a chunky story. They nerfed the fuck out of that standing gear. <laughs> oh, Lila Hiva. Oh, you motherfucker. Yes, I won it. That doesn't always beat that. So that was a very risky gamble on my part. But oh, fuck. I forgot about that. Oh, fuck. You went for. No! Didn't let me deny it! This motherfucker, bro. Fuck. Damn, that was fast as shit. Oh, bro. I went the wrong way. Oh, fucking hell. Okay, hold on. I gotta lock in. Fuck you. Little fucking Darcy exploded motherfucker. That's cool. I got time. I got patience. Fool me once. <laughs> nah, brother. You're not going to get the Kamara either. Yeah. <laughs> Respect my North-South game. <laughs> oh, all right. Oh, no. Nah, look, I know you tried to mean well by doing whatever you did with that video, but you did not do people any fucking service with that. Uh-oh. Uh, nope. We're back up. I will say this. With this guy, even though he's grimy, I do get into fun scrambles with the guy. <coughs> ah, shit. I went the wrong side. Fuck. Okay. Uh, it's fake. There we go. We got ourselves stamina advantage. Race, 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 race. Do not reset my fucking bar. Let's go. And that is the perfect time to fake. Able we'll to escape that. Now we know he's fishing for this dart so he can abuse the shit out of this exploit. Nah, bro. Every single time. <coughs> oh, my God. <coughs> oh, my God. It's not time to be coughing. Man. <coughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We in T-City now. We in T-City now. We in T City now. Ho ho ho! I still have stamina, motherfucker. Jiu Jitsu! Clean Jiu Jitsu! Clean Jiu Jitsu! Then I'm a hot. Ho ho ho! Yeah. 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 Yeah, it, only, it sucks because, uh. That darts can really catch you off guard. The animation. Oh, excuse me. The animation is so subtle. There's one in uh backside. There's one in um excuse me. Backside. The submission counter. Bottom side control. Sp sprawl. And um side saddle. And north south. So six. Six lo six locations for the darts. Mm -mm. Keep you right off. Night or day I, I want to hit this gear. This fucking. I, I don't. I forgot to even check if Ortega has the gear to encounter. He, sh he should. And I don't mind getting taken down. I don't mind getting taken down. I'd rather be hit down here. Okay. He's going to go for the darts. No, no, no. Let's get up. Ah, oh, he, he beat me to the Kimura. Oh, we're fine. We got a stamina advantage. Nah. I'm going to race through that. Not, to, not today, motherfucker. Damn, I got the hiccups. Oh, 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 no. I'll say this. He's got a sequence. He's got a sequence. 
he's pretty not like a motherfucker. Like, he's going for the Kimura because when you lock in the Kimura, I think uh, you end up in, you can end up in one of those positions where you have the Darcy. Not today, you try to go for the heel hook. I know, I know, I know what you try to do. Oh, yeah, and you also have it's seven locations. Yeah, top side control. Top side control, too. Let's go back mount. I'm not there. I'm not going to take the chance. Yep. Oh, <coughs> God, fight for my, I fight for my motherfucking life. God damn. I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm going to jump my cuffs. No, motherfucker. Number one on ranked. I, mean, I always tell me. Go for number one. Uh, honestly, bro. As far as I'm concerned, the two best players are me and Goat. So, that's interchangeable on any given day. Fuck up. He's uh, exploiters and whatnot. That shit my boy be saying. He be saying Spammer K. That's just funny as hell. Go is... Oh, you went for that? That's cool. Go is probably like one of my... Uh, no, he not one of... He is my favorite uh, UFC 5 uh, streamer to watch. Oh. No, he doesn't have the fucking heel hook. Motherfucker, he's supposed to have a... No. Let's go for the takedown. I said, my terms. How does a taker not have a heel hook? No, 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 no. Fuck. Oh, yeah, I got to stay focused. Honestly, uh, I don't even know how this fight with uh, Ortega and the guy here is going to go. Well, I'm, f I'm fighting for my life on three occasions. <coughs> I fight for this. <coughs> I'm fighting not to get darsed. No, I'm fighting a freaking fight. I'm fighting for him. Oh, my God. This, you desperate bitch. Look at this guy. Pathetic. Bro, pathetic. Pathetic. I don't fucking respect your shit at all. You pathetic loser. Fuck off. Jodete, mama huevo. Chingate. Hijo de la puta verga. Do you know who the fuck I am? I'm fucking... Brian Ortega. No, fuck you. <coughs> oh, fuck off. Jiu-Jitsu. Uh, sub even stats too good. Mm. <coughs> Let's get it. Oh, yeah. What, what you got from here, bro? Uh-oh. I just hope that uh, the fight between Ortega and Yair actually makes it pass at least two, three rounds. Bro. Let's go. You thought you had something, did you? G fucking G. What that shit my boy be saying? He be saying, telling these motherfuckers turn it off, right? We're not going to say that over here. We're going to say, Hold it, my huevo! Ah, yo. Um, I was going to do a traditional showcase, but honestly, submitting the number one ranked exploiter on ranked. Submission ranked exploiter. Whatever. We'll have a title be something like that. Submitting them and getting retribution for y'all on ranked championships. Number one, my ass. All right. That's going to be it for Brian Ortega. I, I don't know how the fight's going to go between him and Gary Rodriguez. And go a myriad of ways. All I care about is that we actually get to see a fight this time. The kicks at Gaia are going to be very dynamic. The grappling is going to be a prevalent threat for Brian Ortega. Is he going to be able to put it to good use on top of his clinch game and boxing game? We don't know what we're going to see with two years off. We don't know what type of time he's been on. But all I care about is that T-City gets in there and puts on a really great performance. Mary 17, I appreciate y'all. Much love. Take care. I'm out of here. And fuck this guy.